and welcome back YouTube. This is Booster Box Buster here with something really fun and different today. Today I got for you an Axis and Allies War at Sea Condition Zebra Booster Case Opening. Now this is made by the same company that did the Dungeon and Dragons miniatures, uh, Hasbro and Wizards. Uh, and uh, this came out around the same time I believe as the Dungeon and Dragons miniatures did. And uh, this game was actually really successful. A lot of people really got into this game. I unfortunately have never played this game, but I have really been wanting to get into it. So this is going to be my very first miniatures that I've ever opened from the Axis and Allies line. And I think I'm going to have, and I think I'm going to have a lot of fun because I really, really do love uh, uh, old, you know, learning about uh, World War II and the uh, vehicle warfare and all that. So I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, hopefully I do this right and I don't accidentally mess up any names. Here is a checklist for the set. Probably hard to see from there, so I'm going to kind of go through here. 40 different miniatures you can collect. Uh, believe it or not, some minis from this set are actually quite expensive. I believe the uh, Lexington is actually worth a little over $20, which is, from one miniature, a really good deal. Uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into this. Uh, Axis and Allies, War at Sea, Condition Zebra, Booster Case Opening. Each case comes with five random miniatures, so it is a smaller set, so it probably will get a lot of duplicates, but that's to be expected. The reason I have a top-down view instead of the normal uh, straight-on view is because these minis, they're long, and they're kind of flat, so they be really hard to to film it the opposite way that I normally film miniatures opening. Alright. Let's take a look at some of the minis that we got here. Ooh, we get... Looks like we got something good right away. Sorry about that. Gonna kinda move that up there. Just so we can actually take a look here. That's a pretty cool one there. Uh, that's a 26 out of 40, a Nern. Pretty cool. This looks to be the rare one here. Really cool ship. Looks to be an aircraft carrier. Like I said, I believe the Lexington and the Houston are the two most desired pieces out of the set, if I remember correctly. Oh wow, we started the case with the bang, we got the Lexington, Lexington right away. This miniature goes for about, tw probably about 20 to $25 depending on the person you can find, but really great mini, really great aircraft carrier there. Alright, take a look at this one. And that is, if it focuses, the Zoom. All right. They abbreviate the names on the pieces because they do run out of room. This is a really small one here. Pretty cool mini. And then looks like we got ourselves some uh, fighter planes. Pretty cool. Alright. Take a look at the uh, cards that they came with. Alright, so we got the uh, Matsu, which is a Japanese ship. Alright. So that goes with that one. And that is a common. We got ourselves the F-167 uh, airplane carriers there. And that is the German airplane. You can pause and read those if you would like. And that is a common. We got ourselves the USS Allen M. S uh, Su Summoner. That is a...
course, an American ship. I believe it was this one. Yep. And that is a common as well. And then we got our rare, the Lexington, the beast of the aircraft carrier there. That is an awesome, awesome pull. Really happy with that. And then we got the uh, Nür Nürburg as a German uncommon ship there. Really, really cool. Like I said, I am going to be doing this a little bit differently than normal. Alright, we got the Lexicon, so that's an awesome pull right away. Definitely cannot complain about that. Oh, we got... Alright. It looks like we got the uh, Murais, uh Murasami, that's a common Japanese ship there, destroyer. We got the uh, Nike J. George airplane, that's a Japanese aircraft. I do like how they have uh, factual information on the back of these cards here, that's, really, that's a really nice touch. We got a white DeWith, that's a common uh, destroyer. No duplicates yet, so that's awesome. Ooh, we got the uh, Junio, I believe that's going to be our rare. Yep, that's the big dog there. That's the carrier, Japanese carrier. And then we got ourselves a British uh, Sunderland MK1 uncommon aircraft. Very cool. Alright, let's take a look at these here. Alright, so this is going to be the British aircraft here. Very large for an aircraft. Very cool. If it wants to be free from its cage. This one is uh, the Marasami. Very, very cool. Uh, that was a destroyer, right? Yep, destroyer. Japanese destroyer. These are like a the plastic that the D and D miniatures are made out of. If anybody's wondering, this should be the uh, white D width. Little bend there, but not bad. All right, we got ourselves some attack planes. Very nice. That's the Nike J. George. And then, of course, the big dog, the aircraft carrier, the Junio. I have a feeling that a lot of aircraft carriers are going to be rares in this set. Look at that. That looks nice. Like I said, I have a feeling gonna get a lot of aircraft carrier rares in this set. Nothing wrong with that though. I would like to pull a Houston. That would be the next top from this list here. Let's see if we can get a Houston. Like I said, for the price that I paid for this, that's I'm actually getting pretty good value as, in terms of uh, singles back because 
the people that still play this game really like the or really like this game, so they they are willing to pay the money for them. So there are the cards. Ooh, something got caught in there. Got a little jam. Ooh, no aircraft carriers this time around. I think we hit our first duplicates, but that's to be expected in a only a 40 piece set, so. Alright. So first up we got the Sunderland MK1. Did we already pull that? Yes we did. That is a duplicate uncommon uh, British aircraft carrier. Or not aircraft carrier, aircraft, sorry. We got a, a Chao uh, Dulio. I'm guessing that's an Italian ship. Battleship. There's the back of that one for you. Pretty cool. That is it. That is our rare of the box. Uh, Velissa Olga. That is a no. That's not German. Not quite sure which one that is. That's a destroyer. Very cool. Common card. Our common piece there. The Vindicator, very, very awesome. French uh, airplane. Whoop, that's off the screen there. And then the last piece, the Z32, that's a German destroyer. Very cool, common card. All right, got a duplicate of the uh, one British plane there. This is the Z-32 here, pretty cool. German destroyer, really nice. Here's the uh, the V Olga. Very cool. Here's the Vindicator bombers. Very very nice. French aircraft. And then here is the rare of the box, the uh, Chaudulio. And I believe that is a French, no, I believe that's a Italian, looks to be Italian carrier there. Very, very cool. Very, very nice ship. All right, on to the next box. Come on, Houston. I'm gonna kind of get rid of some of these quick. Get them off of the table here. Ooh, we got ourselves a lot of uh, good items. That looks to be a submarine. That looks really, really cool. Really excited about that piece. Try to place them in the middle here.
Did we already get this one? All right, so we're gonna start on this side because I believe that reveals it easier. We got, ooh, the Leonardo da Vinci. That should be a French, no, a Italian one. Italian uh, submarine, very, very cool. That is a common. Oh, I forgot to show the back. There's the stat information, or the real life information there. Very, very cool. We got the uh, V156 F Vindicator. I believe we already got that, yep. French aircraft. You do get quite a, like I said, you do get quite a bit of dupes here. The Olga. Another Olga. There we go. Ooh, the Providence. Our province. That is our rare. And that is a battleship. Very, very nice. And then we got the Lamet uh, Piquet. That is another French warship. Or uh, light cruiser, sorry. Very, very nice. Alright, so I already got those. Olga. This is the submarine. Very, very cool sub submarine. Very nice. All right. I believe this one is our rare. Nope, this is the Lamotte. So this is our uncommon. Very nice piece there. And here is our rare. Very nice there. All right. Making some good progress here. Come on, Houston. I'm really looking for that Houston. That'd be a really nice pull here. Ourselves a little bit of a jam here. There are the cards. There's a big piece. Ooh, that's probably our rare. One more. Oh, looks like we got another duplicate or a submarine. Very, but always nice to have du duplicate subs. So we got ourselves another Leonardo da Vinci here. We got ourselves a D520. That's a French aircraft fighter. Very nice. I believe that's a new one for us. Yes, it is. Very nice. That is common. We got the USS S37. That is a common uh, submarine. Okay, so we got two submarines in this box. That is a new one for us. We got the uh, Baron. Uh, that's a aircraft carrier for the French. Very cool. And then the last one is the Numberg again. And that is a destroyer for the Germans.
All right. So uh, let's see what ones were the new ones. All right. So here is the D fifty two. Very very cool mini there. I believe this is the U.S. one. The submarine. Let me check. Yep, this is the U.S. submarine. They're a very small ship. I believe this is another Numberg. Yep, that would be the Numberg. Very cool. A Leonardo da Vinci. Second one of those. And then here's the big one of the or pack. This is the uh, Bairn, which is a French aircraft carrier. Oh, not French, sorry. This, yeah, yeah, that's French. Very, very cool. Very nice. I'm still hoping for that Houston, though. A Houston would be really, really great. This video is going to be quite long, just to warn you guys. Got some nice ones there. Just trying to make a little extra room there. see which ones we got this time. Alright, so we got a Ascari, which I believe is an Italian uh, destroyer. Very, very nice. We got the UMS FUIA uh, Corsair, which is a US aircraft fighter. Very, very cool. Getting a lot of new ones this pack. We got ourselves our third uh, Olga. Ooh, we got the HMSR Royal Oak, which is a British battleship. Very, very cool. And our last one was a Agano, Japanese cruiser, uncommon. Very cool. All right, that's going to be the Olga there. All the rest are new though, awesome. All right, this is gonna be the Ascari Italian ship. Very, very cool. I hope it's Italian. Very, very nice. And then we have the uh, Agano, that is the uh, Japanese cruiser, very, very cool. The UMSC 
F4UIA uh, Corsair. Corsair. Very, very cool. Fighter airplanes there. And then the big one of this box, Royal Oak. Sounds like a name of a Magic the Gathering card. Very, very cool ship there. That is a really cool ship. Really happy to have that one. Still hoping for a Houston though. All right, we got our next box here. Oh, nothing super big this box. I wonder if this is like the uh, D and D minis where you're guaranteed to get a certain amount or a certain amount of commons and uncommons, like a certain number of each one, or if it's completely random. All right, we got another Ascari uh, destroyer for the Italians. A UMSC F four. IA Corsair, looking very similar. Uh, White DeWitt. Not quite sure which one that goes to. Ooh, we got a Archangel SK. A Royal Sovereign Class Battleship. Really, really cool. Is that, is that the uh, Russian logo? But that is the uh, new, or rare of this pack. And our uncommon is the Vane Moriner. I don't know what division that goes to. And that is a cruiser ship. Very, very cool. So we got two new ones. A duplicate Ascari. Here, I'm just going to... Do that quick, just to make it a little bit easier. UMSC. And a white DeWitt. That was one of the very first ones that we got. Very cool. All right. So I believe that this is the Ascari. Yep. That is the uh, aircraft, Corsair. This one should be the White DeWitt. Alright, here is a new one. Very, very cool. Very, very simple. And here is the Archangel. The rare. Very, very cool. That is an awesome looking ship there. Really, really like that one. Very formidable. Alright guys, we are getting toward the end of this box, believe it or not. The end of this case. They go by so quick. And just to let you know, I did get one extra one that I opened up before this, just so I could kind of see how the packs go and all that. And I got a very good rare, so if I don't get it if I don't get pull it out of these boxes I will definitely show that to you as well let me just say it pretty much paid for the pack that one rare did is that it okay well if I can tell the rare the rest oh we might have a 
I think we have two new ones. Whoops. We got at least two new ones. I would like to know if uh, anybody watching this still plays the game. If so, please tell me. Is it worth getting into? Oop, here's a new one. We got the uh, Portis. That's a submarine. Very, very cool. That's a common. We got the uh, Nike J. George aircraft carrier. I believe I pulled that one. Yep. Duplicate. Nothing wrong with duplicates, though. Ooh, the HMS Cossack. That's a British uh, destroyer. That's a new one. There you go. There's the back of the card. That's a common. Uh, the Chicum... Uh, the Chikuma. That's the rare. That's a Japanese cruiser. Very, very nice. There's the back of that card. And the H HMCS Uganda. That is a Canadian ship. Cruiser. Very, very cool. That is our uncommon. Actually, I think we got three new ones that box. Very, very cool. Alright, here was the... The, the duplicate uh, Japanese aircraft. And here was... Which one was this one? I don't remember. But I had it. Ugh. Here's the Cossack. That was actually a new one. Very, very cool. Actually, we got four new ones this pack, so that's really cool. Here is the Uganda, very, very nice, the Canadian ship. I don't think this game has too many Canadian pieces, so that's really, really cool to have that. Here is the Portis submarine. Actually, there's more submarines in this set than I thought. I thought there was only, like, one. Very, very cool, very, very small. But it is supposed to be small. And here is the big one. The Chikuma Japanese. That was the Japanese destroyer. Cruiser, sorry, cruiser. Very, very cool. That is a very nice rare. All right, guys, we are almost at the end of the box now. I'm gonna place this down here just so I have room to continue to open stuff. Definitely really happy with that Lexington pull, though. That was a great pull. Keep getting stuck in there. All right, so our first is the Agano, that's a duplicate. And then we have the USS West Virginia. That, I know, is a good one. Awesome! That is a rare. That is a uh, battleship. 
American Battleship. Very, very awesome. We got the uh, HMS Cossack duplicate. The uh, Nike J. George Air Japanese aircraft carrier, our third one of that. So, you, like I said, you're going to get duplicates, it's going to be the nature of the beast. And then the Z32, another duplicate. Right here. So, only one new one, but like I, I think we got most of the. Uh, ones that we're going to get here. So this one was the Cossack. That's the George. This one was the, Ag the Agano. And this one was... Uh, what was this one? Let me just double check. The Z32, I just could not remember. And then here is the new one, the West Virginia. Very, very nice. West Virginia. Awesome. Very, very nice. American warship there. All right, guys, I am almost at the end here. Pieces just kind of fell everywhere there. That might be a new one though. Alright, so our first card is the Matsu, Japanese. The F-167, uh, that's a German aircraft, common. Did I have that one? Let me check. Yes. Actually getting a repeat of the very first box that we did. We got the B-240 Liberator, that is an uncommon ship. Actually, I don't know if I have that one. That looks to be a new one here. Very, very cool. That is a American aircraft. Very, very nice. Uh, we got, oh, we got the Houston, yes! Very, very nice. I got two of the more expensive ones out of this box. That is awesome. The USS Houston. Here's the real life information. And the USS S37 uh, submarine. Did I get, have this one? Yes, I do. Okay. Two new ones, though. That is awesome. Definitely can't complain about that. So here are the F-167. The Matsu. The, uh, the USS S-37. And here is a new airplane here, the B-240 Liberator, love that name, that is an awesome name for an aircraft. The 
That would be a really good one to use just for regular minis. I mean, that is a great mini there. And then here is the USS Houston. Very, very cool ship here. Love it. That is nice. Alright guys, I'm down to my last two packs. I'm going to keep one sealed, the other one I am going to open. The, uh, just like the D&D minis, I do like to keep one sealed just, just, to, just to add to a sealed collection. Uh, I'm going to open up the one on the right here. Well, let's see what rares are left that we have not pulled. Uh, let's try for the uh, Janasu. Because there are 16 rares in this set, and you have 12 boxes, so you will not pull 12 or 4 rares if it is. Uh, like the D&D menus where you don't get any duplicate rares per case. Alright guys, this is the last pack that I am opening and I did not, just looking at the menus, I did not pull the mini I did for my practice case, our box, so that it, I will get to show you that. We got the Portis uh, submarine here, the D520, The HMS Cossack, our third one of those. Looks like the common and uncommon ratio is very uneven. Looks like you get three of some, two of others, and maybe even one of some. Our rare is the uh, Grigorous Evrof. Uh, that is a cruiser ship. I don't know what country that is off the top of my head. Very, very cool, though. And our last uncommon is the HMCS Uganda, second Uganda, not bad. Where is the Uganda now? Right here. All right, sorry about that. I just wanted to get that placed. All right, so here's the 520. Here is the submarine, the Portis. I believe that this is the Cossack, our third one of that. Here is the very cool Uganda. And the final rare of this case, 11 out of 12 packs. is the George Avroth. Very, very cool cruiser ship. All right, so here is the complete uh, box opening of it. Got, I believe I got pretty much all the minis that I was looking for. And just to share with you, one mini that I did, or I'll share with you the minis that I got in the practice case here. Alright, I got a, a Cossack, so that would be my fourth one of that. A Lamont uh, Picot, that'd be my second one. D52, that'd be my third. Z32, that'd be my third. And the rare. One that I was super excited to pull just out of one random pack. 
the HMS Victorious aircraft or uh, British aircraft carrier. Very, very nice mini. I was incredibly happy to pull this out of my random pack, and if I pulled a second one out of this case, I would have it would have been just perfectly fine. I did not, so that's even better. That is the complete uh, pulls that I had here. This has some Booster Box Buster opening up an Axis and Allies War at Sea Condition Zebra booster case. Signing out.